All right, so we will get started. We have 45 minutes, and we are gonna do 35 seconds on and 25 seconds off, so just a little bit more time for work. And we're gonna do seven exercises, three rounds, um, and we'll do a little bit of core work and stuff in between. So we'll get started with a warm up anyway. So have your feet nice and wide, and then let's just start with some arm circles. So chest up, big straight arms, just warming up the shoulders. And then take it back. Nice long spine. And then just bring the arms forward and back. Open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades back together. And then reach your arms up. Then we're just gonna reach up and up. Pointing through the toe, bending in the knee a little bit. Stretching out that side body, nice big stretch. And then reach your arms up, and now we're gonna go crisscross. So opposite hand to opposite foot. You can bend into that knee a little bit. Push the hips forward. That's it. Keep going, reach across. Squeeze the bottom as you go up. For three, two, and one. Awesome, we're gonna take it down. Walk yourself around to your right foot and just come into a low lunge position. Push the hips forward, squeeze the bum, and then take it back. You're gonna come forward, open up the chest, so pull the shoulders back down the spine, squeeze the bum, and then take it back, straighten that front leg. Doesn't matter if the front leg is uh, completely straight, you can stay bent, we're just keeping it moving, warming up the hip, front of the leg, and then warming up the back of the leg there a few more times. And then heart open, and take it back. Last time forward, and take it back. Now bring the left hand down, Right hand heels up, so we come into a twist. Look towards those right fingertips. And then bend back into that right knee. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Walk yourself over to the, to the long edge of the mat. Toes are in. Heels come in, knees go out. And just wiggle yourself back and forth a little bit. Squeeze the bum to open up those hips. Just back and forth. And then take it back down. Straighten the legs, lower the chest. Walk yourself over to the left side, drop the back knee, same thing. So push the hips forward, squeeze the bum, and then take it back, straighten that front leg a little. So inhaling, opening it, opening it up, exhaling, taking it back. Inhale, opening it up, and exhale, taking it back. Just a few more times, just go at your own pace, nice and easy, and back. Good, last one. And take it back. Same thing, bend back into the knee. Lift the back knee, walk yourself over to the long edge of the mat. Heels in, toes out. Bend the knees, wiggle yourself back and forth a little. And then hands down, toes in, heels out. And then slowly roll all the way up. Roll the shoulders up and down, walk the feet in. And then just bring one ear to one shoulder, other ear to other shoulder. Nice and easy. And then forward and back to the chest. And then just doing slow little rolls with the chin, uh, half circle, so chin down towards the chest, over to the side. Down to the chest, over to the side, stretching up the side of the neck. And then take a back, so chin up. Try to keep the shoulders down, lift the chin up. Roll it out. All right, I think we're ready to go. Um, okay, so again, we have seven exercises. They're gonna, some of them are gonna change up every set, some of them are gonna stay the same. So when I change them up, if you wanna do the original one, you can. So I'm gonna give you loads of options. So, my plants in my way here. So first one we're gonna do is walking jack. So nice and easy on the first round, just here. So just tapping the foot out, reaching the arms up, starting to get warmed up. All right, so 35 seconds, then we have 25 seconds rest, and I'll show you the next exercise as you go along. All right, so let's give her 35 seconds, three, two, one, and let's go. So just tapping the foot out, reaching the arms up overhead. Starting to get the heart rate up. Keep the chest open. Really reach through those fingertips. As I already 15 seconds, feel those shoulders. Start to warm up. That's it, keep it going. 10 seconds left. 
I'm sorry, going a little faster. That's it. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, well done. Okay, next one we have walkouts. So reaching the arms up overhead, hips go back, walk the hands out as far as you can, and then walk them back up. So making sure our core is nice and turned on. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, less than 10 seconds, we're gonna go. So you have a shorter rest period. Three, two, and one. Let's go. So reach those arms up overhead, hips go back. Walking the hands up as far as you can. Make sure your hips aren't dipping down. You want to keep the core engaged, squeeze the bum. As you walk yourself back up, really engage the core to prevent your hips from wiggling back and forth. You really want to get that engagement and try and come up as solid as you can. Keep it moving, you have 15 seconds left. Walking yourself out as far as you can, belly button in. See how many reps you can get in. Last five, four, three, two, and one, well done. All right, next one. Squat, nice and easy. So hips back, and then power up through the heels. So nice and easy. I'm gonna open my window. Getting warm. Okay, we have 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. So hips back, push through the heels. Think about screwing the feet into the ground. And the knees go out as you go up. So hips back, drive through the heels. Chest up nice and tall. When you're getting down to the bottom, only go down as low as you can without allowing that back to round. So you want to keep the back up nice and tall. 15 seconds left, you can reach the arms up overhead, big squeeze. Strong through the core, squeeze the bum at the top. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, good job. All right, next one, Superman. Love a Superman. We're working all the muscles in the back, side of the body. Strengthening really good for posture. So tops of the feet flat on the mat, hamstring, glutes engaged so the knees are lifted. Starting with the hands by the ears, and then all you're gonna do is to lift that torso up and lower. Lift and lower. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. So let's go, making sure that the muscles in the back are engaged, back of the legs are engaged. So you're making sure that your belly button is in, so your core is nice, is nice and engaged. Even though our stomach's on the ground, you still need to get that engagement in the core to protect the low back. 10 seconds left, keep moving. Tops of the feet are pressed into the mat, coming up as high as you can, pulling the shoulders down, elbows into the ribs, three, two, and one. Push your hips back into child's pose just for a moment to stretch out the low back. And then come up, okay. Next one, taking it up, reverse lunge. So here, here, so just stepping it back. Nice and easy, nothing crazy yet. <sighs> All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. So just tapping that back knee off the ground, making sure it's not smashing off the ground. You want your feet to be about hip distance apart for balance. Torso is forward about 45 degrees. Keeping that weight on the front foot. And bring the arms forward. Really keep that weight forward over the front leg. So we're pushing off that front foot. Last five, four, three, two, last one, and up. Woo! All right. So next one, we're gonna be on our back. Heels underneath the knees, fingertips towards your booty. Shoulders pull back. You're going to oh, lift the chest, deep breath in, and then as you exhale, you're gonna lift the hips up and lower them back down. So again, we're working the back body, opening up that front side of the body. All right, let's do it straight away. Three, two, and one, let's go. Feet are hip distance apart, wrists are underneath the shoulders. I think I slept funny last night because, <laughs> do you ever sleep funny and then your neck is sore on the side? So when you're here, you wanna make sure you're really engaging your core, squeezing the butt to lift the hips, and really think about pulling the shoulders back and down. 
squeeze the bum. Think about pulling the heels in towards the booty. You have five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top and release. Nice. Okay. We're almost done our first round. Next round, we're going to do burpees. Arms up, hands down. We're going to take it nice and easy, just stepping the feet back and stepping them up and then reaching the arms up, all right? Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Up, down, just stepping them out, stepping them up, using your core, nice and solid. So when we're stepping the feet out, keep going. You wanna have the shoulders just over the wrists, making sure you're not stepping way far back and bringing the weight backwards. You wanna keep the weight forward, using your core. 20 seconds gone, keep moving. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, we're going to rest for one minute. And then we're going to come into a one minute plank on our forearms. Okay? And then we'll get one more minute rest. And then we're going to go back to the top. And we'll just up the intensity a little bit. So I'll give you a few different options of what you can do um, for each exercise. Grab a drink. Not too much though because we are going to be bouncing around a little bit. We don't want to feel sick. Okay. So one minute plank. Let's get in our position. So shoulders over the elbows. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay. Five. One minute. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Okay. So in your plank position, shoulders are over the elbows. Push the ground away. Crown of the head forward. At the same time that you're pushing the ground away, energetically pull the elbows into the toes, toes into the elbows. Squeeze the bum, pull the belly button in, and tuck the tailbone. And you should feel your core fire up. Keep driving the shoulders back. Squeeze in the bum, belly button in. We're halfway. If you absolutely need to, you can lower the knees and then see if you can bring them back up. If you feel like your low back is dipping or your butt stepping out like this, just reset, lower the knees, tuck the tailbone thing, ribs down, pelvis lift, and then come back up. We only have 15 seconds left. Let's hold this. We got this. Crown the head forward, squeeze that butt. Don't let the butt stick out. Tuck that under. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Lower all the way to the ground. My palms are attacking me. Hands under the shoulders and lift the chest up. Heart forward and then lower down into your arms out. All right. Okay, again, if you want a quick drink, we'll rest for another 40 seconds and we're gonna go back to the top. Back to the top. Starting to sweat now. Okay. So about 30 seconds left to rest. The next exercise is, so same thing, walking jacks here. Or if you want to amp it up a little bit, we can take it into a jumping jack. So just adding a little bit more intensity, but if you have any knee issues or the impact is too much, just keep it here. So it's your workout. All right, let's do it. So 35 seconds, round two, three, two, one. Let's go. If you are jumping, we're on the balls of the feet. Soft bend in the knees. Core stays alive. That's it. Keep it moving. Something so simple. And really bring that heart rate up. That's it. 20 seconds gone. That's it, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, makes it harder with all this heavy hair. Okay, next one. We're gonna stay with our, sorry, we're gonna go into a bear curl. So shoulders over the wrist, knees are bent under the heels, opposite hand and opposite foot move forward. And then we go backwards. 
as, in as much space as you can. All right, let's do it. Straight away, come on. 35 seconds. So you want to move really slowly and controlled. I don't have that much room here. If you have more room, you can do more. Just going forward and backwards. So you want to keep your core really engaged. Think about balancing a shoe or something on your back and you don't want it to fall off, okay? You have 10 seconds left. It's harder than it looks, for sure. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, pillow thought that was my dog. <laughs> awesome job. Okay, squat. So we have 15 seconds. Same thing, only difference. So just squatting here. If you want more, you can go down, take it up, and hips back. We don't have to. Three, two, one. Let's go. So powering the hips forward, squeezing the bum. If you want more, you can take it up and back. You don't have to though, making sure there's no pain in the knees. That's it. 15 seconds left. Nice long spine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, chop it out. All right, Superman is next. So we're on our stomachs. 15 seconds rest. All right, let's get ready. So tops of the feet in the mat. Three, two, and one, let's go. So make sure tops of the feet in the mat, backs of the legs are engaged so the knees are lifted. Squeeze the bum, belly button in. Make sure shoulders are driving away from the ears. Elbows into the ribs. Coming up as high as you can. Really make sure that belly is in to protect the low back. Last 10 seconds, keep the gaze soft and down. Make sure you're not cranking the neck. Last four, hold it up, three, two, and one, hands down. Push the hips back, child's pose. <sighs> All right, next one, reverse lunge. So same thing, this one we're gonna add a knee drive, only if you want, so we're here. If you want more, you can take that knee into the chest. Back, knee into chest. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. So again, weight stays forward on that front foot. We're just using that core to bring the knee in. That's it. Keep it moving. That's it. Nice long spine, strong core. You can use the arms. If that feels good, just pumping them as if you're running. The last 10 seconds. Keep that way forward. Make sure you're not banging that knee off the ground. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Reverse tabletop. So same thing here. We're just keeping it here. Keeping it simple with this one. Shoulders back, lift the chest up, and taking it back. If it's too much with the fingers forward, you can bring the hands out to the side. Three, two, and one. Let's go. So shoulders back, chest lifted, up and down. You can bend the elbows back a little bit to get that tricep engagement. Really pull the shoulders back, lift the chest, squeeze the bum. Should be feeling that burn. Last 10 seconds. That's it, keep going, lift those hips. Strong core, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, okay, I love that one. I find it tough because I have a tight shoulder, but I love the feeling, it really gets that openness in the front body. All right, well, we're almost done our second round. Burpees are next, so we can add that jump back if we want. So here, adding that jump back, Nice and light on the feet. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Let's go. Up. That's it. Nice strong core. This plunge is literally attacking me. Keep it moving. 15 seconds. Just keep that body moving. Last five, four, three, two, all the way to the end. Last one. Woo! All right, one minute rest. <sighs> Woo! Quick drink, not too much. Hope you're starting to feel good. So we only have one round left. Just gonna do a little core in between. So important to rest. I don't know about you, but whenever I, <laughs> I'm doing the Superman, I'm looking down, I'm like, oh, yep, I need to vacuum under my couch. <laughs> okay. So, now, this might be tough, so we're going to take breaks if we need. <clears throat> so, we're going to have the hands behind the head. We're going to lift the shoulder blades up off the mat, so we're not cranking our neck. We're using our core to lift the shoulder blades up. Hands are just coming behind the head to protect the neck because our heads are really heavy, so it's hard to hold them up, okay? And we're gonna be here, so legs up, switch, and switch, okay? So you're pressing the low back into the mat, um, making sure it's not lifting at all. We wanna get those deep core muscles. If that's too much, we can be here, bend the knees, okay? I'll let you know when we're halfway. We can take a quick rest if you need to bring the head back down, and then we'll go again. So let's start, three, two, excuse me, and one. So lifting the chest up, pulling the belly button in. Don't let that low back come off the mat. It should be tough. Feel that burn, I don't know about you. I'm feeling it, pull it in, pull the belly button in. Do not let that low back lift. If it starts to lift, you might not be able to bring the foot down so much. So maybe you're not bringing that bottom foot as low. Okay, we're halfway. You need to take a quick rest to reset that low back. And then we go again, 30 more seconds. And again, if this is too much, you can bring the knees here, opposite foot down. So we're not cranking the neck up. We're using the core to lift the shoulder blades up. Okay, so it's fully engaged the whole time. All right, we only have 10 seconds left. Come on, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Big stretch it out. Fingertips to toes. I roll it over onto the stomach. And have a nap. No, just joking. Hands under the shoulders. Lift the chest, pull the heart forward. And then hips back, coming into your challenge pose. And then come up. All right. Last round. We'll rest about 30 more seconds. Well, time sure flies when you're having fun. So last round, everything you got here, we're just adding one more exercise onto the end just to really finish it off. Um, so this is the last round. So we want to smash it out, everything you got. Everything you got. So I'm going to give you the exercises. You have to bring that intensity. Okay. Let's do it. So first one, we have our options. Walking jacks here. Option two, jumping jacks here. Option three, just switching it up a little bit, takes a little bit more coordination. Hand back, kicking your opposite heel. Okay, and then you can add a hop in if you want. Okay, you don't have to. I'm just giving you options to make it a little bit more interesting. All right, let's do this. Last round, we got this. Three, two, one. Let's go. So we're here. Options. Walking jacks. I'm going to jumping jacks. Reverse jumping jacks. Takes a little more coordination or adding that hop. We're like hopscotching. Like when we were a kid. The jumping is hard for me because my ponytail is cranking my skull back and forth. <laughs> okay. 10 seconds left. Whatever one you're doing, just bring it. Bring that intensity. 
that focus, that intention. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Okay. So now we have our walkouts again. We did our bear curls last time. This time, we're going to take it down. Now we up even more. Walk it out. Mountain climber. One, two, three, four. And then walk it back up. Okay, as many as we can. Five, <coughs> excuse me, three, two, one. So arms up. Walk those hands under the shoulders. Knee into chest. One, two, three, four. Then walk the hands back up. See how many reps you can get in. Keep it moving. Make sure the low back isn't dipping. When you're doing your mountain climbers, shoulders are over the wrist. Make sure the butt's not in the air and you're not just kicking your heels up. You might have to slow it down a little bit to keep that engagement. 10 seconds left. Keep it moving. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Squats are next. So again, you can add that jump. You don't have to. You're still gonna get that intensity from your intention and from just powering through, so it's up to you. Those reps sure go by fast when you're chatting. Okay, four, three, two, and one. Hips back. Really power the chest forward. If you're not jumping, forward, big squeeze. Or adding that jump here. It's up to you. Nice strong core, pushing through the heels. Knees go out as you go up. You have 15 seconds left, come on. Or if you want even more here, feel that burn. Woo, five. Four, three, two, one. Oh. All right, super mountain next, we're on the stomach. Catch your breath, 10 seconds. So if you want more with the supermans, while you're on your stomach, you can reach the arms up and then bring them back. Up and then bring them back. That's up to you, let's go. Three, two, and one. So we're here, up and back, up and back. If you want more and you have space, you can bring the arms forward, up, and then back, down. Forward, up, and then back. Just make sure, tops of the feet pressing in. So the knees are lifted because the tops of the feet are pressing in. Backs of the legs and butt are fully engaged. Your pelvis is pushing into the ground pulling the belly button in, so you're fully engaged. Last three, two, one, hold it up. Reach the hands back, lift the feet, squeeze, pull everything up, and release, hands down, child's pose, set the hips back. <sighs> All right, take it up. Next one, reverse lunge. Going straight away, three, two, and one. So we're here, we're just forward over that front foot. So if you want more, you have that knee drive. If you want even more, we're adding a hop. But remember, you don't have to. It's your workout. I give you the moves. You bring your own intention, your intensity. Remember why you're here. 10 seconds left. Keep those feet hip distance apart. If you're losing your balance, just look at one spot in front of you on the ground. Four, three, two, and one. Huh. All right, reverse tabletop. So we get a little bit of a rest, kind of, from the cardio. Huh. Breathe. We're almost there, we got this. Okay, let's do it. Fingertips towards the butt, shoulders back. Lift the chest, let's go. So really pull those shoulders back. You can tell I have a creak in my neck. Elbows go back, lift the hips, belly button in. That's it, keep going. Ten seconds, lift the hips, squeeze the bottom, 
push through those heels, lift that chest up, hold the shoulders back. Let's hold at the top for three, two, and one. Lower down. Awesome job. Okay. Oh my goodness, we're almost there. Woo! Burpees. So we're just adding those jumps, bringing the chest to the ground if you want. All right, let's do it. Three, two, and one. Let's go. So adding another jump here. Maybe you bring your chest all the way to the ground, making sure you don't hit your head on anything. Only if that feels good, bring that power up. Keep it going, come on, we're almost there. Really strong core. We got this. Last 10 seconds. Keep it going, last five, four, Three, two, and one. Huh. Uh. Woo! Breathe. All right, we're almost there. So, really quick. We'll rest for another 30 seconds. So two last little pushes. We're gonna go 30 seconds on your side. So left arm is out to the side. Your knees are to the side, but your torso is up. 30 seconds, and we're gonna crunch it up. Open up and crunch. Then we're gonna do the other side. <clears throat> so one minute total. And then lastly, I'll tell you that later. <laughs> Nothing crazy, nice and short. Okay, let's do it. So one minute total, a little bit of abs, tiny bit of cardio at the end, and then we're done. So 30 seconds each side. So say you're on your left side, left arm is out to the side, knees are bent, hips are to the side, torso is up. Three, two, and one. So push into that arm that's out and crunch up. You should feel that in your obliques. <sighs> Open up and crunch. So that's it, 10 seconds gone, big squeeze. <sighs> big crunch. That's it, 15 seconds left, we're halfway, over halfway now. That's it, you should be starting to feel that burn. Last three, two, and one. Hold it up, pulse, three, two, and one. Awesome job, other side, straight away, whoo. Right arm forward, three, two, and one. So torso to the sky, pushing into the right arm. And squeeze, lift the chest, belly button in. Breathe out as you go up. Big squeeze. We're almost there. Chest lifts. Less than 15 seconds left. Keep going. Big squeeze. That's it. Keep it going. Last five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Pulse three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Last push. 10 seconds on. 10 seconds off, four times running on the spot. So we're going as hard as we can for the 10 seconds, resting for the 10 seconds, and that's it, we're done, we get a beautiful stretch. So because it's only 10 seconds, we're going as hard as we can. So whatever you wanna do to run, if the impact is too much, just pumping the knees or bringing the knees into the chest, whatever you're doing, full out, all right? So let's do it, just 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four times, three, two, and one, let's go. Fast as you can, come on, pump it. It's only 10 seconds, we got this. Four, three, two, and one. Tap it out, one done. Breathe, ready? Four, three, two, one, let's go. Fast as you can, get that heart rate up, come on. Everything you got here, pump those arms. Four, three, Two, one, yes. Top it up. Woo! All right, I gotta change this. Oh, it's too slow. And let's go. Come on. Round three, we're almost there. Hard as you can. Woo! Three, two, one. Last one. OK. 
Okay, we got this. Everything you got. Last one. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Woo! Hard as you can. Four, three, two, and one. We did it. Amazing job, virtual high five. All right. Now for the best part, stretching. Give yourself a big hand. We did it. Workout complete. Feel those endorphins, really enjoy them. All right. All right. Just start by rolling the neck to one side and then the other. Let's bring the left arm out, right hand to the side of the head. Just gently leaning the ear to the shoulder, and then looking down, looking up. Slowly come to the other side, drop the shoulders, ear to shoulder. Look down, and look up. And then release. I'm gonna bring the outside edge of the right foot, so you can be sitting in a chair for this, sitting on the ground, on top of the left thigh and sit the butt back. So the right knee is coming out to the side. So we're in a figure four position. We're stretching that outer right hip. So you can come onto a chair or a couch and bring that right foot on top as well, lean forward. And then we're still getting that stretch in that hip. My mat has moved. And breathe, deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Stick it nice and low wherever you're at. Slowly come up, holding onto a chair, whatever you need. Bringing the right foot into the hand, rolling the shoulder back, pushing the knee down, stretching out the front of the hip, the quad, the front of the leg there, push the knee down. And then slowly release, heel down, toe up, hips back, stretching out the calf and the hamstring. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And slowly come up, step the right foot back, you're on the ball of the right foot, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the bum, push that knee down, reach the right arm up overhead, lean over to the left, bend the right elbow and pull the elbow across the body, lift the chest, oh yeah, that feels good, and then bring, come back up, make sure that tailbone's tucked, squeeze the bum, push the knee down, so we're getting into the psoas, that hip there. Right arm comes forward, pull it across the body, touching up the shoulder, drop the shoulders down. Oh yeah. Slowly release. Other side, so standing on the right foot, or whatever side you did before, outside edge of left foot on top of right thigh, sit the butt back, stretching out that hip, flexing that left foot. You can be sitting on a couch or a chair or the floor. And then slowly standing. Bringing the foot into the hand, knee down. Engaging the hamstring. Again, keeping the tailbone tucked to get the stretch in the front of the leg. If the bum's sticking out, you won't get the same stretch. Then breathe. Slowly release. Heel goes down, toes up, butt goes back. Stretching out the hamstring, the calf. And breathe. Slowly come up, left toes go back. You're on the ball of the left foot, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the bum, push the hips down, reach that left arm up and over. That should feel amazing. So we're leaning over to the right. And then bring that left elbow behind the head, lift the chest. And then come back up. Left arm forward across the body, drop the shoulders. Oh yeah. And then slowly release. Amazing job. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you can feel those endorphins, feel ready for the rest of the day. Um, and I hope to see you next time. So thanks so much and have a beautiful day. Thank you.